Hello everyone, I'm Neil, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Data Culture. Data Culture is the global operating system for credit recovery. Our clients include banks, NBFIs, MFIs, fintechs, and telecom operators. We specifically drive collection efficiencies, reduce delinquencies, and the overall NPLs for our clients. This is what we do. We drive credit decisioning by collateralizing the borrower's smartphones, which are livelihood and access enablers. And in absence of a credit score or any alternative data, this becomes a critical factor in the overall decisioning for the lender. Throughout the tenure of the loan, the data culture platform ensures that the payments are happening on time. The, these people don't miss their payments. The delinquencies are in check, the NPLs are in check, and there's a habit formation amongst these people to pay on time. This is how we do it. Uh, four modules that build the data culture platform. Module number one is where we secure the customer's smartphone, which is done via an undeletable application. Module number two is where our clients engage with the customer by segmenting and building automated loan life cycles. They educate, they engage, they communicate about the new loan that people have received. It works even when offline and includes richer formats like a video format. Module number three is collect, whereby we digitize and optimize various collection processes, processes like auto pay, promise to pay, restructuring of your payment plans. This ensures that the customers are, are able to make their payments on time and if they need help, they are able to access such help. Model number four, nudge comes into play if a customer misses a payment and these uh, the, the nudge module essentially enables various digital nudges that ensure that the customer pays back the missed payment quickly. We have two products, DC Lock, very specific to the use case of financing a new smartphone. Easy Loan is very specific to use cases like micro and nano loans, buy now, pay later, payday loans, et cetera, and collateralizes a borrower's in-use smartphone. Some of the examples and ways in which various modules uh, that uh, on data culture come into play, the engage module includes various formats, formats like a simulated call, which simulates your normal call but it doesn't use any of your call center infrastructure. We have other uh, messaging formats like a pure text format to a video format. Uh, you can build in any kind of calls to action. This ensures that the message is understood by the customer and the customer takes the necessary action that is required of them. Some of the processes that we're digitizing include, as I mentioned earlier, auto pay, promise to pay, payment plans, uh, various other uh, processes are also currently uh, getting digitized as we speak. Some of the digital nudges that come into action if a customer misses a payment include a softer nudge like a wallpaper reminder, which acts as a constant reminder that Neil, yesterday was a due date, you've probably forgotten, please pay. And we see almost 72% people pay within three days of just putting up such reminders. But in case people still don't make those payments, uh, the various other digital nudges come into play whereby the client can block certain applications or certain features on the device to ultimately lock the entire device. The idea is to, in, to, to ensure that the customer understands that they have missed a critical payment and they need to pay those dues quickly. We've been live for almost 24 months. Uh, we're hitting a million loans on our platform and the loan value secured uh, by our clients is now crossing $109 million. Very clearly, the, the clients are seeing results, measurable results, results uh, like reduction in de monthly defaults, reduction in overall NPLs by 70%, the debt collection efficiencies is going up by almost 4x, and the loan approvals in this segment is also steadily going up. Uh, this is our footprint. We are live in Africa, Southeast Asia, South Asia, LATAM. We're also now going live in Central Asia. These are our revenue projections. We closed 2021 at around 600,000 USD of top line revenues for us. And with the current signups that we've uh, we've already had, the pipeline that we've built, we are on track to go 10X over 2021 in the current year. We've won a few awards, the latest one being the Inclusive FinTech 50. Uh, we are also a red herring top 100 Asia winner. We're a NASCOM winner. We're also cited as amongst the top risk mitigation and collections platforms globally. Our investors include the Dubai FinTech Ventures, which is a consortium of Visa, Marsh Shrek Bank, DIFC. We also have investments from SeedStars and Sturgeon Capital. The team, Sujo and I started Data Culture around three years back, but we know each other for almost 15 years. This is our second startup together. As we speak, Data Culture is 45 full-time employees with offices in Singapore, Delhi, and Dubai. Our advisors, again, come from the ecosystem. They understand this space really well and are helping us build a robust world-class platform. That's it from me. Uh, happy to answer any of your queries. Please reach out to me. Thank you so much.